Seth Lancaster, Thinker Motorworks, and I have a little how-to today on how to replace the alternator clutch pulley on a Q7, also works for a Touareg or a Cayenne. Let's get started. Okay, today I'm working on my own 2012 Audi Q7. Some of them are going to be a little bit different, like a Touareg is going to be different. It's going to have some extra hoses and stuff. Um, the 2013 and later ones are going to have a slightly different alternator. Most everything's going to be the same. Here's what you need. You'll need a ratchet with a T60 Torx for the belt tensioner, clutch pulley, INA made in Germany, flat screwdriver, alternator clutch pulley tool kit, and of course with that, a wrench. Here we go. Start off with loosening the serpentine belt and pull it off. There we go. Okay, the next thing, the alternator is down there. We're going to take a screwdriver. We're going to pop this little plastic cover off. Like so. A little hard to do one-handed in this case, but there we go. There's a the cover. And then that makes it where you can see the splined part for the alternator clutch pulley tool. Okay, now we are going to take the triple square bit from the alternator clutch pulley tool kit. We are going to slide that in. Let me get around this side of the boost hose. This boost hose is a little bit in the way. Then we get that in, and then the 33 tooth spline one. Let's slide that in there. Now you have that engaged, and then we're gonna grab our wrenches. Okay, now that we got our wrenches in there, then we're gonna come in here and it, it's going to seem a little bit backwards. We've got to turn the large one uh, as we're turning it off, and then the, the inside one is holding it. So if you see that direction there, yeah, I see I might be able to loosen out now. There we go. There you go. You can see that. That's the original one. Now, the one that I supply, it's slightly different. And let me show you the difference here. Okay, if you look here, this one, the original one, it's flat on the back. This replacement one has a spacer. So what we're gonna need to do is there's a little spacer on the alternator down there and we just need to pull that out. Okay, so we just slide that little spacer out and there we go. Now we're ready to put the new one on. Get the thread it on, we can actually just hold this part with the wrench and thread it in. And that just kind of gets it now. Slide that one in there. And that 7 8 wrench. Tighten it down good. And the cover on there. Put the serpentine belt back on and you're good to go. And if you wonder where do I get that pulley, I've got them in stock most of the time, as long as they're not all sold out. And uh, I can get one for you. You can get them from the dealership. Don't get a Chinese or even the Brazilian ones. They don't work quite as well. They work a little bit longer than the Chinese ones, but OEM is the best. Ina is the original manufacturer. That's what I use. That's what I recommend. That's what all my customers get.